Good morning. My name is Imtisal. This uh, short video is uh, to get you know the airway management material. आपका जो सेशन होगा एयरवे सेशन का उसमें हम एक शॉर्ट क्लिप आपको जो है प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं जिसमें आपको क्लियर आइडिया रहे कि हम क्या प्रोसेस से गुजरने वाले हैं और एयरवे मैनेजमेंट की जो है प्रॉपर स्टेप्स क्या क्या होते हैं नाउ इफ यू हैव अ सिनेरियो ऑफ 45 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल केम टू यू इन ई आर हाउ विल यू चेक द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ आर ओके सो हेलो आर यू ओके आर यू ऑल राइट देर इज नो रिस्पॉन्स आई है टू वन वन Three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Okay, so I can feel the pulse, but is there is no breathing. ठीक है. You have to check simultaneously the pulse and the breathing pattern. So there is no breathing. I have to give rescue breaths. Now, for rescue breaths, we have this ammo bag here with C and E, and in sniffing position of the patient, we will provide one breath. Then one one thousand, two one thousand. Three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, and a breath. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, and a breath. So now, if we go towards airway adjuncts, okay, patient is unconscious. So we will be using opium, oropharyngeal airway. Okay, for the size selection, we will be noting it from angle of the mouth to the angle of mandible. All right. So I've selected this. Opiate. For insertion, I will rotate it in 180 degree. Insert it in the opposite manner and then rotate it in 180 degree. Then placed. Breath. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Breath. If you are achieving good saturation, that's well enough. Other than that, you can do the suctioning procedure. For the suction procedure, we can use Yonker too. Suction. Don't use more than 10 seconds. All right. So now, after OPA, if I have other equipments too for the unconscious patient, all right, I can use LMA. This is the laryngeal mask airway. 45 year old female. We can use size four. All right. We can use lubrication too. Lubricated from the posterior side, all right. And then you have to check the patency of it. So for the patency, insert the air into it. It's patent enough. Okay. So I am inserting just five ml of air. And now, like this, I will be inserting this. LMA till I feel the resistance. All right, I felt the resistance, and now now I will stop. Now I will be inserting the required amount of air. So for size four, it is thirty ml of air. All right, then one breath, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. If the patient is in cardiac arrest, you can go towards six to eight seconds. So, breath: one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, and a breath. So this is the pattern. I have now deflated it and removed it. For the advanced air right now, all right. I can't provide 100% oxygen from these materials. Okay, this is just the supraglottic airway devices. Now, if I have to provide 100% of oxygen, I have to use something which I can provide 100% of oxygen from an orbital tube. All right. So, for adult male and adult female, there are various sizes. Adult female is seven and adult male is eight. All right. So, forty-five year old female. I have the patient. I will be using size seven. Again, I have to check the patency. All right. So. 
so it's patent you can use this tell it don't go beyond the murphy's mark now this is my equipment i will be using laryngoscope of size 3 it's working i have to check all the equipments so i have gathered my equipments i have laryngoscope i have ed tube i have suction tubing i have xylocaine gel all right and i have a syringe the bite dropper so first of all if i reach to the patient i will be providing i will be pre oxygenating the patient breath 11000 21000 31000 41000 5000 breath 11000 21000 31000 41000 5000 5000 and the breath now pre oxygenated i will be lubricating the etd tube now i will be using the laryngoscope from right to left angle i will visualize the trachea and then remove the stellet check if i have entered lungs or not okay so both are equally bilaterally rising so primarily method is chest rising okay i can see the chest rise from this one breath 11000 21000 31000 41000 5000 6000 6000 6000 and a breath 11000 21000 31000 41000 5000 6000 6000 and a breath and for the confirmation we can use auscultation method uh, auscultation first epigastrium then both the bases and then both the bases all right this is the method at the end i will be introducing air into it so i can provide 2 to 2 ml of air till the hissing sound disappears i can still feel the leakage okay so now the leakage has been disappeared that hissing sound is disappeared so again breath 11000 21000 31000 41000 5000 6000 6000 and a breath at the end i'll be securing it with the pipe block then we'll tie it so this whole thing was a practical short video which you are going to learn and you'll be having uh, hands on practice on the mannequins different scenarios to uh, i wish you luck in your practical and theoretical exam